Hey Lou and Water Kids family, I'm here today with my son Aaron and we thought it would be fun if we made something together. So Aaron, tell him what are we gonna make today? Cake pops. We're gonna make some cake pops and are cake pops delicious? So first, we're gonna get a bowl for our cake pops, right? And then Aaron, he's gonna help me make them. So first, I think we need our cake mix. Are you gonna be able to pour those in here? Go ahead and pour that in there. Are you the whole thing? Yep, the whole thing. And so on the box it says we need water and oil and eggs. How many eggs do we need, Erin? Three. Three eggs, we have three eggs over there. You gonna crack them? Ooh. I'm about to smell it now. Yep, I still smell it. Okay, let's get some more eggs in there. Two. Breaking the egg, okay. All right, good job. So now we've got our three, look at our three eggs done. <laughs> Play with those eggs, that's gross. Okay, you can put the shell over there. Okay, so now we need some water. You gonna pour the water in there? Nice. You gonna pour some oil in there? Let's let the camera see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah, good job. Stir up the mix. Stir it real good. Two. I'm ready to eat it now. Can I eat it now? Yes. Oh, we don't wanna eat it like this. <laughs> Make a hole in it. Make a hole in it so it turns all spill out and eat it and look it. Ew. High five. No, no, <laughs> you're silly. I'll stop stirring, I got it. Okay, he's got it. All right, while he's finishing that up, we've preheated the oven and we're gonna get ready to put these in for a little bit. And while they're cooking, let's check out our race. Welcome back, little white boys and girls, to another favorite food race. I am the host of the real land today. We have pepperoni pizza on a hot rod versus a steak taco on a hot rod. Go ahead and pick your favorite food to win as we get ready, set, and go. And we're off. And there goes Taco. Put a little bit of hot sauce in his engine as he takes off and takes the lead over pizza. Pizza's on his tail as they come around the zigzag section of the track. And here we go, coming around to the second section, and Pizza is now getting the lead as he, oh yeah, he hits the nitrous and takes a nice lead over Taco. And Tacos is on his tail, he's not giving up. And now it looks like Taco Taco hits, now hits the nitrous, and he gives him a boost as he gets caught up to Pizza. But Pizza's got a couple of tricks up his sleeve, he's not giving up. And here we go, Pete Tacos and Pizza, they're together, and Taco now hits more hot sauce in his, in his engine, and they get together now, they're are toe to toe, not sure who's gonna win. Is it gonna be pizza, is it gonna be taco? They're both going head to head toe to toe here, and it's pizza, pizza takes the win. Congratulations, pizza. That is it for today, boys and girls. Make sure to wash your hands and pray before you eat. God bless you, and we will see you here again next week. Take care. I'm Madison and I'm your host for this series, Jesus is for Everyone. You would not believe what I saw yesterday. There was this man down at the old state fair and he was riding one of those unicycle things, you know, the bicycle with only one wheel. Well, anyway, he was riding his unicycle down this big old ramp and then he jumped over 15 elephants. Whoa. It was amazing. Now I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. Are you sure he jumped over 15 elephants? I find that hard to believe, but it's true. I know it sounds impossible, but it really did happen. But I don't blame you for doubting me. Sometimes it's hard to believe something that you didn't see with your own eyes. 
And that is what we're going to be talking about in our lesson today. We're going to learn about something called doubt. Doubt, to be uncertain about something or to believe that something may not be true or is unlikely. Doubt is something that many of us struggle with. After all, the Bible is full of miraculous stories and claims about Jesus. Some of these are so difficult to believe because they seem impossible. With man, they are impossible, but nothing is impossible with God. When we doubt, we just have to remind ourselves that God is able to do things that we can't even imagine. Don't doubt. Have faith in God. Well, it's time for you to get into your lesson. You guys are going to hear a story about one of Jesus' disciples who struggled with doubt. His name was Thomas. You're going to hear about how Jesus handled Thomas' doubt. It's such a cool story. Well, that's all the time I have. Until next time, my name's Madison reminding you that Jesus is for everyone. Water Kids family, today's Bible story comes from the book of John, chapter 20. And in this story, we find that Jesus has just been crucified a few days earlier. So the disciples, they were all gathered together in one place because they were really sad. They were missing Jesus when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Jesus appears. Can you believe it? They had just watched him die on the cross a few days earlier, and here he was standing before them. Now, there was one disciple who wasn't there, and it was a man named Thomas. When Thomas returned later, the disciples were so excited to share with him that they had seen Jesus. But Thomas, when he heard their story, he could not believe. He had some serious doubt in his heart. In fact, he said, I won't believe unless I see for myself. Now, a few days later, when the disciples were gathered together again, Jesus, just like he did a few days earlier, appeared to them. He walked over to Thomas and he showed Thomas his hands. He showed Thomas the scars in his hands that were put there by the nails that were placed in his hands on the cross. When Thomas saw this, he fell to his knees and he cried out, my Lord and my God. Because you see, because Thomas had seen with his own eyes, he believed that Jesus was alive. Now Jesus, he wasn't angry with Thomas for not believing that he was alive. In fact, he said, Thomas, you believe because you have seen me, but blessed are those who believe without seeing. You see, Jesus is trying to share with us that just because we can't always see him and we don't know what's going on, it doesn't mean he's not real and he's not with us and that he loves us. And what we need to do is when we have doubt in our heart, we need to go to God and we need to tell him about that so that he can help us get the doubt out and replace it with faith. Okay, so now we're back. Our cake is all cooked, it's all finished, and it looks like somebody might have gotten into this one already. I can't really tell, but let's see what the instruction sheet says to do. It says to crumble the cake up. Oh my goodness, are you ready? Are you gonna help me crumble this cake up? Gonna get our hands in there and crumble it up and put it in this bowl. Are you ready? I think let's let's go for it. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh. that's nice right there. Okay, so now we're gonna take this. We're gonna put it in the bowl. But put it in the middle. Put it in the middle of the bowl. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Let's, let's keep going. going. Put some more in there. We're gonna crumble this cake all up. This feels kind of cool, doesn't it? Uh-huh. I never dug my Wait. hands in a cake before. Have you dug your hands in a cake before? Yeah? Hey, Mom. Wait, Mom. I get this big piece. Okay. Get that big piece. Nice. Needs a lot in here. Yep. The spoon's getting me a lot of get buried. Now it's buried all the way, the spoon. Oh no, how will we ever get it out? Oh, it's like this. I'm gonna dig in all the cake to get it out. Okay. All right, is that all of it? Uh-huh. All right, so we've got his favorite color frosting here. It's the color yellow. No, blue. It's the color blue, so I heard that we're not supposed to use a whole lot of icing but we'll find out together, won't we? We're gonna put some blue icing in there, maybe use half of it, you think? Uh-huh, and 
Mm -hmm. Okay. And you probably stir it. Probably? You think so? Ooh, show the camera your hands. Show the kids your hand. <laughs> it's good to stir it up like this, but it's better to stir it with your hands. You gonna help me stir this with your hands? Mm -hmm. You're just you gonna mean, mix you that mean, icing you in mean there. A clock? Like uh, a clock? Uh, someone picks it up and grab a toy. Oh, like the claw yeah. on Toy Story? Yeah, like that. It's turning green. It is, isn't that weird? Uh-huh, because Lolo and Blue make green. Mom, look, I've got a whole bunch. <sighs> That's a waterfall. You want a big cake pop or a small cake pop? Big one. A big one? I can't Mama, believe it. Mom, look, I'm gonna slip a bit. Oh my goodness, that one's gonna be so big. Let's make a super big one for Micah. Super big one for Micah? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Because he's more bigger. How about we make 11? 11 for Micah? Micah is his brother. So that's very nice that you're thinking about making one for your brother. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish these up. We're gonna take a little break while we put them in the freezer or the refrigerator to chill a little bit, and then we're gonna dip them in some chocolate. All right, it's time for the Power Verse with Disco Dan Groove. everybody my name's disco dan i'm here to teach you today's power verse it's totally out of sight today's power verse says have faith in god mark 11 to 22 that was one smoking power verse now this power verse is a really good one it's talking about how we don't ever have to doubt god we can put our faith and our trust in him it's kind of like this you see when i was a kid i really wanted to be the best dancer that i could possibly be but I had some doubts. I didn't know if I would be good enough to have what it takes to be a good dancer. But my dad would tell me, Disco Dan, don't you worry. You're gonna be a good dancer one day. So I kept trying, but I'd fall and my arms wouldn't go up high enough. Oh, it was a big disaster. But I had to put that doubt aside and say one day I'm gonna be the best dancer that I can be. And it happened. God gave me the ability and the strength to do it. I don't ever have to doubt anymore. And you don't either. So stand up to your feet and let's say the power verse all together now on the count of three with me, Disco Dan. Are you ready? Well, here we go. One, two, three. Have faith in God. Mark 11 to 22. Oh yeah, good job, good job. You can take a seat. Man, that power verse was dynamite. Now I hate to bum you out, but Disco Dance got to fly. <laughs> I'll see you boys and girls next time when we learn another groovy power verse. Until then, my name's Disco Dan, and I am out of sight. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! We had our cake pops in the freezer. Touch them and make sure they're cold. Yeah. They're nice and cold. Okay, so then it says you're gonna take these sticks and you put them in your chocolate a little bit and stick them in your cake pops. You wanna try one? Nice, okay, so now we've got our melted chocolate here. We're gonna dip this into the chocolate. You wanna do it? Let's see. Ooh, just, yep. All right, let's see here. Oh my goodness, that looks like a mess. What should we add? What do you think? Sprinkles. Some oh, sprinkles. Yeah. And let's show the kids that it's all falling apart and it's disgusting. Is that the way we like cake pops? You wanna try it anyway? All right, let's see. What do you think? Thumbs up for sure. These are not very pretty, but it's still fun to try something new. So we're glad that we did it because it's always fun to try something new. High five, Erin. Great job today. Oh, yeah. Hey, Living Water Kids family. Today we are talking about doubt. We have all doubted before, but the sad thing is we don't always admit that we doubt. We think it, but we never talk about it. And Thomas, he did something very special in that he admitted that he had doubt. And that's our first lesson today. When you doubt, admit it. Thomas admitted that he was struggling with doubt. And it's okay to admit that you're struggling with doubt. We all, all do it at, from time to time. 
If you never admit it, God can't help you with it. And do just like Thomas and admit that you are struggling. Admit that you have doubt. Here's some good news. Your doubt, it doesn't change the truth. Thomas doubted that Jesus was alive. And did that change the fact that Jesus was alive? No, of course not. And just because you struggle to believe something, it doesn't mean that it's not true. Facts are facts. Truth is truth. Whether you believe it or it doesn't, it does, it doesn't change the truth. And even though Thomas doubted it, Jesus really was alive. Boys and girls, I know, I know you doubt from time to time, but don't worry, God's word is still true. Admit your doubt and allow God to help you. And that's what Thomas did. He made a choice to stop doubting. And in that moment, he began to believe. And that is exactly what you and I need to do and to make a choice to stop doubting and choose to believe and get the doubt out. You know, it's true what Pastor Johnny was saying. Sometimes we all struggle with doubt. That happens every now and then. But it's so good to hear that even though we might struggle with doubt, it doesn't change things. So what we're gonna do right now is just take a time to pray about it. So if you're thinking, you know, sometimes I doubt too, and, and I wonder if things are really true or not, and I'm not real sure. So let's just pray about it right now and ask God to help us with our doubt. Would you close your eyes and pray with me? Dear Jesus, we thank you for who you are and how much you love us. God, we thank you for your word and everything that you've given us. And God, we know sometimes we struggle with worrying and wondering and thinking too much. And God, help us to put our trust and our faith and our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.